Yeah, there you go. That's your. That's a twenty. That might be the winner right there. That's the, that's the that's gonna be the lead. Like that <laughs> that's the lead right there. Okay. Nice man, persistence. Go see how big he is. Gonna go take it straight to the camp. Yeah, All right, y'all. That might be a winning. No, that's the biggest one I've seen so far today. Probably like 18, 19. All right, good luck. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Warrior. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. Check it. Check it. I got a special one for y'all. You might notice something. You might notice something a little different. You see that? That's called land. That's right, y'all. It's been two months since I've land-based fish. Two months since I've been on land. See what happened, if this is your first video, you know, you ever watch, or AKA, I like to call them episodes. I don't do videos and vlogs, I do episodes. If this is your first episode, what happened was, two months ago I got a Hobie, okay? Once I got that Hobie, I became bad and bougie. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I'm bad and bougie now. So I've just been kayak fishing for the last two months. And once I started kayak fishing, I just kind of swore I'd probably never land-based fish again. Until today. So where are you at, Rennell? I'm gonna tell you. Texas City Dyke, that's right. I know it's y'all, some you know, some of y'all thinking, Texas City Dyke, Rennell, I thought you hated the Texas City Dyke. I do hate the Texas City Dyke. That has not changed. But the thing that's happening today is something special. Doing my first fishing tournament, that's right. The Boyd's Bait Shop Fishing Tournament, Flounder Fishing Tournament at that. So yeah, man, it's like winter takes all for one week. I don't know how many days I'm gonna do it, you know? You know, I got a job, I got things to do, but I'll try to compete as many times as I can. Personally, I just want to come on the first day, knock it out, get my 25 inch, nine pound slap and take the W. So yeah, let me let y'all check out the scenes. And um, oh yeah, once again, first fishing tournament. Personally, I think I'm gonna win it. I think I'm gonna win it. I think I can do it. I think we might be on. <laughs> Enjoy the episode. Let's talk about gear, baby. All right, so my original plan was to come out here with my Pins 5000, you know, combo reel, with my 30 pound braid, 50 pound leader, and get a live mullet. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a tournament. I ain't playing no games, it's a tournament. Nobody has any live mullet. All right, no problem right now. Improvise. Use your cast net, right? Cast net, forgot it at home. God. All right, it's all good though. So we're gonna go to my kayak setup Shimano Vanford 500 that's right I'm coming out here with my ultralight seven foot areas old 18 rod I got my five pound braid yeah my five pound braid is gonna win it all and we're gonna have this flats I think the color is called like electric boogaloo or something like that I don't know it's char chartreuse looking I think flounder like lime green toxic looking things because I am in Texas City so you gotta match the hats right now if that doesn't work. When in doubt, that's right, gulp it out. I got these gulp pearl white with pink tail, three inch swimming mullet. All I know is, dude, somebody at Seawood Park, like last year, caught like a 25 inch flounder with the same swimming mullet. Um, I'm gonna have my other ultralight areas old 18 rod. Um, and I have like a little bitty, this is a 1 8 ounce jig head. It's like somebody just caught a flounder over there, put it in this truck. Shut up! So yeah, that is my setup. So I think, um, I think I'm good, man. I think I'm good. I'm gonna come out here with my ultralight setup and win it all. 
we're gonna come out here right off the rocks see what we can do let's get this slab we're gonna make this video quick man i don't got all day it's gonna be a one one shot one take first cast 25 pounds 28 inch flounder some people call it halibut but you know whatever come on let's go All right, y'all, so let's get this day started. I definitely see them people over there on the jetty. They're catching some, you know, I think undersized ones. Um, I'm gonna come back here a little bit to the left of them on the little sandy part and see if we can get anything popping. So first technique, I'm just kind of jigging off the bottom. Um, now I'm just gonna just try to slowly retrieve it and kind of just go along the bottom. See if I can intersect one. All right, so I want to go closer to here towards those rocks. Slightly crowded, but there's a little bit of space I can kind of you know, squeeze in and try to be no pot liquor and invade other people's spots or cast over them. I'm just trying to get my own little territory. Then when I catch my flounder in front of all of them, they're going to be mad at me saying mean things but it is what it is there's money on the line people there's money on the line but you still got to be respectful come on let's go so did, did he pull up a fish yeah. slot red oh, nice. slot red yeah what's your name man right now right now mm -hmm. right now uh, yeah you, you took, okay. that's what I'm yeah yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah fishing trips yeah, yeah, I've uh, been making up names for you, calling you Donnell over there, man. What's up? What's up, man? Say Donnell? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> All How right, sir. Doing, How you doing, man? Doing good. Long Wolf Lou. <laughs> subscribe to you, brother. I appreciate it. What's your name? Long Wolf Lou. Lewis. Long Wolf Lou. Lewis. Long Wolf Lou. Got you, Lewis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. You too, like man. He, 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 huh? he is for real. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Good luck, brother. Thank you. Aren't you fishing trips? Yeah, man. What's up? What's your name? Lennon. Lennon, nice to meet you, bro. Man, I was just watching on the way here, man. I love yeah. the channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. Good luck out here today, man. You nice to meet you, Leonard. <laughs> Barrett is crazy. There's a bite. I think we on, y'all. The awesome light set up. We got a crab. Stupid crab. Oh, buddy. You got a crab. I got bait. <laughs> Red bait. <laughs> All right. Not the target species. You gotta it? You know you want it? Yeah. Come on. Not the target species, that's a big mud crab. Look at that. I think we might be on. There we go, finally. Got a net? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, buddy. Get him. Oh, whoa. Got him. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Get him. Damn time. Target species. Target species. <laughs> All right, so we got the target species. This is a 14 inch flounder. I don't think it's going to win the tournament, or it's not even legal at that, but we'll get it back in the water. It bit the goat. Go figure. All right, update, man. I'm gonna try a different spot. I wanna hit some like um, boat launches in that little area where you can get hang up on and you know hate life. Um, this spot, it produced, um, they were catching a lot of flounder, keeper size between 15 to 16 inches on um, shrimp. Um, but 15 inches is not going to win this tournament. I need to go find me a slab, a doormat, and then they might be at the boat ramps is what I'm thinking. So let's go. Oh my love 
You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow All right, so um, I don't know who Abel Romero is, but just let you know, man, that your family is still here thinking about you and love you, man. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm at another spot. It's some kind of pier. I never really, I never fished this pier. Um, come in here, I never fished the pier. Um, I'm not curious to know, or I'm curious to know if there's founder here, so we can, you know, do a little pit stop, see if um, how people are doing. Let's go be nosy. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. What's up, man? Got one. Got one. Back where you went at the rocks or at the pier? Yeah, this is a 14 inch, so I'm getting everybody else catching. Uh, like it's a bad day or something. That's what everybody's saying. Nothing, nothing big. I heard 17 inches might be in the lead right now. Enjoy that chip you ate. Bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> got PTSD from that. It is what it is. We would ne never again though. Never again. You could not pay me to do that. Mm -mm. No. Nope. But yeah. I'm glad everybody thought it was entertaining. We didn't think it was that entertaining at the time. <laughs> but after about 10 minutes, after you know our system kind of calmed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Cause you know, we thought it was, you know, normally you eat something that just dies, but we was like, like 10 minutes just going back and forth, like what what's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Should we be calling like 911? Because something's not right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, biggest mistake of our lives. <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Jesse. Jesse, nice to meet you, man. Peace. Are you, you have a YouTuber? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I have a channel called Fish and Trips. I saw you out there on the uh, uh, Sea Wolf one day, right? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Knowledge. Knowledge, man. You got to respect the OGs, boy because you know they've been fishing since you know before i was born <laughs> technically so yeah man never fear about talking to old timers bro because they got that knowledge man you gotta respect that all right on to the next spot Lego! all righty then all right folks um i think this might be another good spot that people like to visit for flounder so let's um Let's go see what they're talking about. See how they're doing. Come on, let's go. Oh, just yet. The Chinese is the biggest one I've seen caught. Uh, yeah, man, fishing trips, catching cooks. <laughs> yep, that's me. Thank you, man. What's your name? Yeah, uh, right. Catch and cook. Yep, <laughs> catch and cook. <laughs> yeah, catch and cook. Where's your barbecue pit, man? Hmm? <laughs> you could. From a barbecue pit? You could at home or you could. I got it at home. N next time, my next time. <laughs> oh, you, you, yeah, you recognize my voice? <laughs> you go to Moses Lake, man? That's my secret spot. I can't tell nobody about I that. Oh, I see you fishing there. <laughs> yeah, man. So hopefully, Moses Lake. You know, the water is kind of high today, so. Mm -hmm. Might be good in there. Yeah. We'll see. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis, nice to meet you. What's your name? Hmm? Say it again, sir. What's your name? My name is Ray Nell. Yes, sir, Ray Nell. People Ray probably know me. Yeah, people know me as um, Fishing Trips. Fishing Trips? Yeah. Channel Trips. Yeah, Fishing Trips. Mm -hmm. Fishing and Trips? Yes, sir. Mainly about my trips, but not that much fishing. All right, update, y'all. So um, I stopped about two other spots, you know what I'm saying? Um, a couple of piers, a couple of boat cuts. Everybody's saying like the bite has slowed down. It's been small ones. So nothing really popping. I think the biggest flounder I've seen on day, way, day one of the tournament was like an 18 incher that you probably saw in the video. Hey man, big shout out to all the subscribers that recognize. Y'all check this out, man. I have not been seen fishing on land in like two months. I've been MIA on land fishing, land-based fishing for two months. I have not been seen anywhere. So the fact that I come out here to the Texas City Dike, which I haven't been here in, in dang near three or four months, I've never been recognized by so many subscribers and people before out on the water. 
that is so shocking to me and i guess i really kind of lose not touch but when you're out on your kayak and it's only just you and one other person within hundreds of acres all of a sudden when you come back to land and you're around a lot of people i think you really kind of you know i guess you don't really realize how many people you come across on social media and how many people watch your video so i appreciate all the support man 100 percent love for all the people i met today that was crazy that was crazy i hope i had the opportunity to um input a lot of the interactions i had with my subscribers and the people who watch my videos in this video you know i know it wasn't that many flounder that i caught but i caught one though i caught one but it's all good it's only day one um the tournament is for a week I'm gonna try to fish it again. I've seen some things, some observations, and trying to test it out. I got a good, a good um, inkling of what to do now. That's gonna get me on these flounders. All right. So I um, hope you enjoyed the vlog. I know, short and sweet. But thumbs it up. Thumbs. It, I need 200 likes. Running up, running up 200 likes. And um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna win this tournament. Day one of one complete. Let go.